Yeah, hey, thanks. like nothing happened. I drew another one. <laughs> yeah, it is like nothing happened. This has been on the <laughs> field all field the whole game. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> survive a turn of mine. Let's get started. Now that I have five monsters in my graveyard, I can now use special summon a bit more in Glacia. That, of course, making two of your uh, cards probably the one you just grabbed. Welcome to Xalophony Plays. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss any of our other Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. You can even join my Discord linked below to take part in our community tournaments. After the video, make sure you go subscribe to my new Yu-Gi-Oh! channel for highlights and replays of decks that are played a little more seriously. There you'll find some of my deck lists I've used, as well as some current meta tournament winners and tricky combos to terrorize your friends. We have new replays up every day, so I'll see you there. Let's get this thing started. The one and only Xalophony here, back to have a little bit of another matchup that's from the Create a Card program. Mario was eyeing up those X-Sabers, and he saw mermaids mm -hmm. were pretty good, or the mermails, and... They're warriors. Yeah, I think... I never ran a Mermel deck, so I don't know what Mario's talking about. But I have an Atlantean deck with four Mermels in it, so let's do that one instead. So, <laughs> we're, we're kind of there. I also uh, had to have run Atlanteans in the longest time. Yeah, Mermels are uh, are the ones that have all those equip spells to them. So, yeah, some of them, yeah. Ooh, I should have added that one just for fun of this, but I did not. Mm -hmm. I do have that one Mermel card that just kind of goes well with seconds. water decks. And then, yeah, I threw a couple others in there just because I felt guilty. Um, but we'll see. Discard one water monster to the graveyard, then do that. Well, that's not going to do much just yet. But this, um, that's also not going to do much just yet. We're going to have to go for that Marae of Greed and get rid of all my good water monsters that I have and get new th cards. Um, okay, that's a bit more like it. I think what we're going to do is we're going to normal summon Atlantean Heavy Infantry, which will give us the extra summon of Neptibus. Neptibus will let us uh, send a card to the graveyard, being Atlantean Dragoons. I think that's a good play. I forget completely. I, once again, haven't touched this deck in like a year. But I'm sure it'll be just fine. So that's <laughs> gone down. Waiting on you, sir. Yep. Uh, let me see. Nope. I'm going to activate that. Alrighty. I already got plenty of that card, unfortunately. Can add to my hand this. It may be useful soon. This card isn't going to be quite useful soon. Can I grab my Deep Sea Diva with this? No, I cannot. That is disappointing. Um, but what we will grab actually is this, because maybe that'll be of a help. Depending on what my field ends up with here. And if not, we're just going to Marae of Greed it next turn, so that's fine. Oh yeah, that gets to pull a thing as well. And that can add the Deep Sea Diva to my hand. Okay, so I could have done a good play there and I just forgot about it. That's okay, we'll add the Deep Sea Diva with that regardless and we can still do something. Alrighty, I think with that, we'll set this card. We'll consider that for the next turn. And what can I do with these two? We could just leave them out to get desecrated. That could be fun. Or I could uh, turn them into one of these options. Let's see. That could add a mermail monster. Not a bad choice, which I don't mind getting rid of this. Um, and let's see. Yeah, we're going to go for the uh, mermail abyssalacea. Hmm. Yep. And I remember your ace monster, this was your Poseidra, so... Correct. That was always annoying. What? I think it always got rid of the back row? Yes, it does. It sends him back to your hand. And if, if that happens while he's clearing out your field, then it's usually pretty quickly over after that. Yeah, true. All right, okay. I set it down a card and end. I guess I'll activate my effect here. Um, I can send a card to the graveyard. I don't need this uh, trident as much as I was thinking I might. And with that, I can add a Mermail monster to my hand. Now, I would add the uh, Abyss Megalo, but it's really not going to be heavily usable just yet. Um, in fact, none of these cards are going to be massively usable. Um, but I'll grab this Mermail monster, sure. That sounds like a good plan. And now that I have sent the... Uh, Tried into the graveyard, I can use Call the Atlanteans and bring these three back from the graveyard. So out comes Trident, out comes Prince, and out comes Heavy Infantry. We'll start off activating he this boy, sending another Dragoon to the graveyard. That'll give me another two card search to hand. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to stop here. 
No, you do not. All right. That's one thing, but I know if I remember, bad memories are coming back at this deck. I guess I'll need um, a Poseidra in my hand. So that would be a good thing to see. And I know if I stop one thing, it doesn't guarantee at least stop the whole play. Mm-hmm. And with that, I will add... Ooh, that could have been sick. Oh, well. Let's see. That could be cool as well. I'm going to grab a Mulling Glacier. Because he's always fun. I'll just have to count my graveyard. Um, well, you're about to find out. Let's go for it. So, uh, first things first, I will activate the effect of Poseidra here to toss these three monsters into my graveyard and summon Poseidra. Solemn. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Mm. I can still... No, I can't dig this up. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Um, select an effect to activate. When that guy's destroyed, I can special summon a card from the graveyard. Great. Um, do I want it to be Poseidra? Yeah, probably. Or if I do this guy, then I can get more things moving. I think that'll be my plan. Yeah. We'll do that. And he'll pop his effect. So out comes the heavy infantry. And there's nothing on your field to destroy. But now that there's exactly five water monsters in the graveyard, I can summon Mool and Glacier. Oh, and fine. you discard two. Yeah. Oh, there goes my next play with my Saber Dark Soul. Lovely. I will now go for a... Do we go Deep Sea Diva? Yeah. We will normal summon it using the effect of Atlantean Heavy Infantry. Deep Sea Diva will let me pull from my deck. And can I... Let's see, I can get this thing out here. That one wants to be discard, so I want to pull that to my hand soon. Um, we already used that. Um, this would be kind of sick. Maybe. So we we'll get the marksman out here. And now I have an additional summon, but we have more to do. So, oh baby. Let's just play dirty. Oh no. Uh, yeah. What? Silo beast. Let's talk about this. Oh, never mind. I can't play dirty. I can't. I can't do it. I was going to go to Trishula, once again. Well, I'm going to, but... Not with, not also doing Trishula. So we'll do that. How um, good is this deck? <laughs> Let's see, what's this thing even do? Uh, target one monster is a banished card. Add to my hand and this card sent to graveyard to target a banished card. Oh, yeah, that's supposed to be like okay, that's like a just larger version of your deep sea diva, huh? Yeah. Um, so it's not going to do a ton right here. And actually, we're not going to be able to just automatically summon Poseidra right here like I thought we might. Um, we are going to... Actually, we can. If we do a Mermail Abyss Sturge, then we'll toss the Neptibus to the graveyard. Off that, we can add to my hand. Oh, this is just a hand. Okay, well, we'll get a Deep Sea Diva for later. I thought that was a summon. My bad. As I mentioned, I don't really use Mermails, but I decided to add a couple to the deck. Back then, you used to use them all the time, and well, I could no, never I didn't. find a way to get rid of them. <laughs> I never used them. During the fight club, I mean. Well, yeah. Atlanteans you're thinking of. Yeah. Uh, let's attack for 2,000. Eh. <laughs> Cannot be destroyed by battle. That's unfortunate. Attack. Yeah, it's a bit of a steep cost, though. Uh, let's see. During each of your opponent's standby phase, take damage. Okay, so it's a stall. But it'll work out for you. Uh -huh. uh, anything fancy for me to do right here? Maybe. I think we'll just chill. I'm happy with where we're at. And my turn. Can yeah, okay, so I'm totally going to work with deep sea stuff. Great, we're going to use this when again. When you only have two, when you only have two high level monsters to be, that needs any type of special stipulation, and you draw both. <laughs> the luck of that. The luck yeah. Of that. You know what? We have another Murray of Greed. I might just use it. Murray of Greed is one of my least favorite draw cards. It just makes so much sense in a water heavy deck. Take your damage, Mario. Come on. Oh, no. Burn, baby, burn. Yep. Dog going inferno, burn. <laughs> I don't know if that's the words, but it is a bit more accurate for this moment. Um, <laughs> We're going to just use Murray of Greed. Why not? Ah, uh, cool. I got a Deep Sea Diva back anyway. Um, I can use... Actually, a few things here. We will um, go for Salvage. 
and I'll give me two of these to hand, we're going to get Atlantean Heavy Infantry. Then I can utilize Deep Sea Aria to add a Sea Serpent to my hand. Um, in this particular case, uh, I'm going to grab you because I kind of want to search this other card later, which I think I'll be able to do. And we'll add this to the hand. Oh, well, I didn't want Banish you. I wanted that to my hand. Oh, well, too late now. We'll add that boy. And then we will normal summon the heavy infantry, which gives us an extra normal summon, which we were going to use on Deep Sea Diva, but now I realize I don't have any zones to really get any benefit off that. So, what could I do instead? Um, I could turn this stuff into something else. So, let's just turn these into a nice little Miss Star Boy. Get the waterworks looking stronger. And then Prima Donna, when it's sent to Graveyard, I can shuffle this right back into my deck anyway. So it's not too bad. I will normal summon the Deep Sea Diva and use that to summon from the deck the final Neptibus. Then we'll use his effect to send that Dragoon that I just popped back in there back. And I can add to my hand. I already have that card. Um, so many good cards. I guess we'll get one of these for later in case I need it. And with the other effect, I will add the Mermail to my hand. Uh, can I add them? Yes. Lovely. And then at least this card likes to be discarded, so that's perfectly fine. And maybe at the end of your turn, we'll get another one, so. I guess, um, to be fair, I can kill this thing. All I have to do is go into Poseidra. Hitting these. And then Poseidra's effect goes off. Oh my, my own card goes back to my hand. And then, oh yeah, from the graveyard. Um, this is a scary field silo. Oh yeah. This can special summon, um, I guess for fun. Ah, no, that won't do anything anyway. We'll just summon, let's see, what's this do? Battle damage, so no, that won't do nothing. We'll just special summon this. Yeah, we'll get the trident. Why not? And then that's a target and destroy. Dare you. Yeah. How dare I? My only lane of defense, too. <laughs> now I can... Yeah, might as well do this now. Activate this, and I can get rid of... Um, I guess I better hold on to that. So we'll do this, and... Uh, nah, we can get rid of it. It's fine. And then I can summon... The Abyss Megalo, Mermail Monster. Also, on top of everything, um, since you've already done your effect, and we're going for, like, over-the-top actions here, why don't we just do this? Get rid of you two. Get myself a second Poseidra on the field. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do. And this I can tribute a water monster and he can make two attacks. But I don't think we need that. So. Nope. Just splash. Actually, <laughs> this is more than just cold water. This is like <laughs> freezing water. It's a lot. I think you just jumped the entire ocean on me. Yeah, that's a lot of it. The Mermel boss, the Atlantean boss, the Mistar boy, a Molin Glacier. Yeah, there's a lot there. It's alright. Yeah. Water dragons. Yeah. Yeah, two Poseidros at that. Alright. Uh, let me make one quick edit to this deck. Okay. Real quick. Sounds like a plan. Second, I suppose? Alrighty. Let's see what I can do. Alright, they're going to force me into an opening array of greed. So we'll do that. See if what we can get that's a little nicer. Three cards. Not too bad, not too good. Um, we can use that for a Deep Sea Diva play, um, but that wouldn't really give me anything too crazy. I suppose once we do get some more into the graveyard, that'll be sick. But why don't we just be patient this turn? Yeah, we'll just be patient. I mean, that's... you can't exactly explode and, and all that. Mm -hmm. Like, I, yeah, this deck doesn't play with negates. Obviously, as we saw last game, it can be very offensive. But it doesn't mean it's going to uh, stop my opponent, aside from getting rid of cards in their hand, which is only when you right. get all the big plays out here. Oh my Normal goodness. Summon. He has a monster. Then I'll set two cards face down. Alrighty. I will end the turn. Will you, Mario? No. <laughs> I'll play Saber Slash. Oops. 
I thought that was the I thought that was the one where I can just target a card and destroy it on the field. I was gonna destroy your back row. Face up cards, yeah. I forget that. Okay. Well. Well now. GG. <laughs> Likely. Um one for one. Uh with that we will toss away Deep Sea Minstrel and summon Atlantean Prince. There we go. I will use Atlantean Prince. We will toss the Dragoons. This is gonna be a good round. Assumedly. Wait on you. Yeah. Um let's see. You know what? I think that's a card to stop. Okay. So now only this gets its effect off. Good for you. Uh, add to my hand. What do we want? I guess we'll just go for the heavy infantry. I don't know so. how much the hampers you play, in all honesty. It it's one piece of it, I suppose. Let's see, heavy infantry comes out. It probably would have been better to stop the heavy infantry. Because this one is another monster, another material. Two, it gives me an additional normal summon. And three, it would be off the field. So that would probably be the right answer, I think. Because everything else is just set up to this point. Because um, that lets me do this, which lets me do this, which gets me another card, um, which can be another uh, Neptibus in most cases. However, um, I think we are going to instead go for the Marksman, because it doesn't need to be that guy. We'll get him back later. And that sounds good to me. And do we want to go for that or that? I think what I will do, yeah, because I'd love to get that effect off. Sounds good. I will activate surface, and then that can bring something out. Let's see if this card special and send the top three cards to you from your deck to the graveyard. That sounds fun. I'll do that. Could do Neptibus with this and get a free summon off the graveyard out, uh, which could have actually just brought this card out, so, oh well, not a big deal. Uh, select a card to return to the deck. Uh, I would love to have... My Deep Sea Diva in Graveyard return to the deck. That's always nice. Ooh, better yet, Dragoons. So that goes back to my deck, and I believe... Ooh, place on top or bottom? You can go to the bottom. That's fine. And yeah, that got sent anyway, so... Oh, I just didn't have any good monsters for that to pop off with. Okay, that's fine. I will now that I have that, that, and that, we will activate Poseidra. We'll flop these three out of here, and that way we can keep the Marksman. Nice, classy Poseidra. That'll just send the two cards away. No real use of that. Definitely not using that card. And, yeah, no monsters to reduce at all. Set my own card right back down, go to battle. Uh, we're going to hit you with the Marksman, because when the Marksman does damage, he gets an effect. And I can get an additional monster special summoned. In this particular case, everyone's kind of already played their part. So I think we'll just go for... Huh. I guess we're just going to get another Neptibus out here. And he can attack. And you can attack. Could have done a little I'm more not... damage, but Neptibus has other benefits. At least I'm not dead. Nope. Um, I don't have any cards to discard to Graveyard. Um, I guess I'd enjoy it if some of these cards live. Um, however, it'll probably be more beneficial if I just go into this right now. So we'll go right into Miss Starboy and boost up all my water. And once he dies, I get more out of it, so. Alright. Forgot how much I like this deck. Yeah, And no, I think I could make it a lot better with some modern cards. I mean, knowing me, I'll just shove Extravagance in it and call it a day. But I'm not yeah. using a lot of the extra decks, so. Alright. And then I play Saber Slash properly this time. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye, Poseidra. Unfortunately, there's one downside. It's not <laughs> strong enough to start your fight your Mistar Boy. Yeah. I made the right call bringing out Mistar Boy there. That's a dead card at the moment, so we're just stuck with a nice dry hand. Ironic for him being water monsters. He's one of the few that he can't. He doesn't give me anything if he goes to the grave. He's the I thought he one does. of does. No, it's only when he's destroyed by card effect. Oh, yeah. Battle or card effect. Oh, no, you're talking about your monster. Got it. I thought you were yeah. talking about mine. Yeah. Very good. Uh, okay. I normal summon X, my XX Saber uh, Bogger Knight. 
Okay. Activating his effect. I can then special summon. Yeah, they really need to avoid that 3x's, don't they? <laughs> I suppose. Uh, special summon a XX Saber Dark Soul. All right. Uh, I kind of wish I was able to special summon him in defense mode now. Uh oh. Well, do you go for the trade? That's the question. I guess you have to. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, you don't necessarily. I wouldn't. Yeah, wait, yeah, I would. <laughs> Didn't know he had only 100. Okay. So I get to search probably the D.Va off this. Yeah. I love how Deep Sea D.Va's at 3 right now. That's the one change I did make to the deck. Oh yeah, I remember when it was so bad. If we the way to break your deck was to break your diva, but now yeah, that that's just free cards all day long, you know. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna normal summon. It. That's just a free card from the deck, which gets me free cards to the hand. No, saber hole. Negate the summon. <laughs> oh, oh no. I is forgot that's only when it's normal, normal summoned, yeah. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> I just wanted to do that because it was <laughs> it's cheeky, but yeah, should have gone for the nap. The, uh, hey, it's drinks. like nothing happened. I drew another one. <laughs> yeah, it is like nothing happened. This has been on the <laughs> field all field the whole game. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Gotta have a torrential in the water deck. <laughs> is it the best card in the game? Not necessarily, but it's water and it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, You know what? Oh, this will be good. XX Saber Guard Strike. Okay. Hey, yeah, that'll be free, free usage. All right, we can banish a water monster from the graveyard. Um, does this boy like to be banished? I don't know. I'll do it anyway. I think he just does the banishing usually. And what monster. shall I add to my hand? Gee, I don't know. How about a deep sea diva? I was gonna uh, say all you have to do is add a monster with more than enough of life attack points left. That's true as well. So we could just add Dragoons, but no. I want to get my Deep Sea Deep off. You want to do the entire play? I actually don't know if I have another uh, piece in the deck because I grabbed one prematurely before. Okay, I do not. Um, but we can at least finish it with a Poseidra, which isn't the best Poseidra I could summon. However, it's good enough. Um, so this boy gets to come out. And then off a of Trident, we can uh, get rid of that. And then just Poseidra from deck. Do it with some class, you know? And destroy. Alright. Yeah, sounds like x Sabers need some support, man. Well, I also did play bad first round. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, so um... good. Also, yeah. like, <laughs> Atlanteans, I, I would. Well, it depends. Mermels do have their Link monsters and whatnot. But Atlanteans aren't on the list. It's Mermels, pure, that are. So, it's hard to say. So yeah. this gets me graveyard pieces back. Uh, this can technically get me into Poseidra territory, so I guess I'll go to there. Because um, if I use this, it's just in a different order than I do sometimes. I just go into the heavy infantry. Heavy infantry, I feel like when I first started playing this deck, I underestimated him. But having an additional normal summon just gets you from two pieces to three pieces consistently. And with that, we can send um, Poseidra to the graveyard, which is probably the play but i think i can do that next turn we'll just do dragoons because that's an even better play and then oh yeah i have to do that so i can get all the plays into the graveyard and to my hand i will grab you know what i'd love to see another call of the atlanteans and then he will add to my hand do we go for an additional mullen glacier that sounds fun Ooh, you know what no let's try to use our abyss megalo this time around just because, like, I've I've done well this game, I can goof around a little. It's fine. You already took the you already took the W. Exactly. So let's do it, let's do it with some different means. So this and that that'll be next turn. Uh, this maybe next turn. We'll see. And uh, we can certainly go into an extra deck piece. No synchro options right now. I wonder if I can dig up some. Um, oh, no, I actually have all my tutors in play right now, unless I wanted an additional Deep Sea Diva, but that wouldn't really get me anything. I do have some cheeky uh, Halka Fibraxes in here, just in case. But I think aside from that, do I go for this or do I miss Starboy? Because I have a plan for that card already. Although this will get me what I need. So, yeah, we'll go for you um, by getting, I guess, the uh, vulnerable ones off the field. Abyssalacia. 
And that sounds like a good finisher to me. Uh, do I do this now? I can do it later, just fine. No big deal here. And I end my turn. Alright. Hmm. Now if I lose my heavy infantry, I'll be able to use card down. Uh, Call of the Atlanteans, so... That pick. could be fun. So, he I'm might not have summon my rescue cat. Oh no! Activate the rescue cat. Not a cat. I guess I'll just pop this before I forget, and I will ditch to the graveyard, Dipsy Minstrel, which lets me uh, do a few other things. Primarily, add to my hand. I could have done that with this effect earlier. Oh well. Uh, we'll grab this one. Yeah, the random mermail monsters I threw in here don't really synergize with the rest of the deck all that much, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But they're not bad for it. They like, also these... gain from the basic water stuff, but yeah. Get your level threes out. We can finally see the deck do what it's meant to do. All right. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Um, I really want to make a souped-up Atlantean deck now. <laughs> These guys are serious. They won me one of our fight club things, so we haven't done one in a long while, but it was a good little and competition. Kind of grew my Zoo love for you, Gil. And then Zoo had to play a, uh, a nerf down one. He played bit. Mermails because he didn't want to play the same thing I played the season before, and they got stomped. No, no, no. We were playing with the uh, we you you were playing with archetypes last time. We had to play oh, with yeah. uh, we had to play with types the season after. And okay. Not all of them are the same. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he got to use Mermails, but here's what happened. I was limited to just using Atlantean, so I didn't have any of these Mermail plays in that season, and the deck synergized so well. He made it like a Mermail Atlantean mix, and the synergy just wasn't there. Of course, it still had the massive Abyss Megalo play, but aside from that, it just wasn't there. And it didn't work out for him. So that's gone, so I can uh, send a card to the graveyard, I suppose, since this is on your turn. We may as well send ourselves. Oh, we can't. Oh. No Dragoon to the graveyard. Oh, yes, we can. Dragoon. And then that's... Now you can special summon as well. Lovely. We have a special summon. How about Deep Sea Minstrel? And then those effects go off. And more cards go into the graveyard. And I can return a card to the deck. Um, ooh, I definitely am going to probably want... Mm, nah, we'll summon those. It's fine. Uh, let's get a prince back. Oh, no, we have two Dragoons. We're going to send one of those back. Oh, and we got the other Dragoon in our hand. Yikes. Yeah, we definitely needed that back in the deck. And what do I want to add to my hand from the deck? I think I have too many in there now for a Mooling Glacier. Um, but I'll grab it anyway, because I might be able to manipulate the graveyard a little bit. And we'll see if we can bring out a nice, fierce, watery hand here. And then we can special summon from the graveyard uh, this boy. <laughs> Because that card sent Neptibus to the graveyard. <laughs> that was a lovely attack you had, Mario. What the heck? Why didn't uh, Goyo Guardian's effect to go off, actually? When this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it, you can special summon that monster. Because I did too many effects first, I think. Um, what did you destroy? Um, a bit the Link oh, Monster. Yeah, okay, interesting. Oh, is it because of Link Rule stipulation that they can't be summoned onto a space that doesn't have a... Uh... No, no, when they come back from the grave, you can place them anywhere. Yeah, I don't know. That is unusual, actually. Yeah. But of course, that being sent to the graveyard allowed a lot of other effects to pop off. So, which is why I got to do all this. Yeah. Yeah, because that let me summon my Deep Sea Minstrel, which sent the uh, Neptibus uh, Prince to the graveyard, which let me summon. So that also got Poseidra out here. However, it's Poseidon not being brought out by his own effect, so it doesn't clear back row. It's just a big attacking monster. Yeah. Actually, uh, what do I add? I guess, if anything, I might just need this one if I can survive a turn. Mm-hmm. Well. I'm not going to survive a turn of mine. Let's get started. Now that I have five monsters in my graveyard, I can now use Special Summon of it, Mullen Glacia. That, of course, making two of your uh, cards, probably the one you just grabbed, going out of your hand. Then what we can do is we can utilize Salvage. Now that we have that sorted in the graveyard, we can get ourselves a Neptibus and a Deep Sea Diva back from here. Even though we already had a Deep Sea Diva, now considering we already have the um, Heavy Infantry on the field, we are going to have two summons. We are going to start off by uh, 
turning some monsters into something additional though, so I can have more room to summon something with that, we're actually going to be ditching the Poseidra. So that will mean we're going for a Star Boy by using Poseidra and Deep Sea Minstrel. That'll bring out Star Boy, boosting up everyone's attack. We can then use normal summon of this with the Heavy Infantry's effect. Deep Sea Diva will then search a Neptibus Prince from the deck and put that on the field, letting me send a Dragoons from the uh, deck to the graveyard, as well as, you know, some other cards, because Dragoons will activate its effect. Now we can add to my hand. I think what we're going to do is get myself an additional Poseidra, because I'd love to summon multiple of them this turn, although I don't think I can. So we'll just grab a little bit of backup plays, a heavy infantry, that sounds fun. Fantastic, we will then use that effect to add an additional Mooling Glacier and see if I can summon an additional one. Can I use this more than once a turn? I don't know, we're gonna find out soon. All right, now what is in the graveyard? Is it an additional five? No, I think I have too many in there now. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to do it again. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. What I will do instead is, actually, let's see if this fixes the numbers up. We'll use these three, since um, I already used that guy's extra summon to bring up Poseidra. Then that Poseidra will clear out all the back row, of course. I can also utilize the effect of Heavy Infantry to clear the remaining monster on your field, and this will allow me to summon an additional monster. In this particular case, it's going to be Dragoons, because that's all it really can be. So that comes to the field. And that clears all of that. Now what I will do is I will activate the effects of um, Abyss Megalo sending to the graveyard, uh, let's see, the Neptian Prince, which, uh, that's already been done. It's all been done already though, so let's see. I guess we'll send Dragoons and we'll send the Mooling Glacier, which can no longer be used. That'll bring this guy out to the field. That will allow me an additional a card to be sent to my hand. Um, now I suppose I already have that and that, so let's grab myself. How about an additional Abyss Megalo? That sounds good. Can I use this multiple times a turn? I can, would you look at that? So I will use it. This will allow me to send. Um, let's just use this and this. Then I can get myself that out onto the field, lovely. That sounds good. That would let me target and destroy something, but there's no particular need. I can then activate the Abyss Megalo to destroy this, and he has two attacks. I activate this one to destroy this, and he has two attacks. This will also let me add to my hand an additional card. Keep in mind, I have not normal summoned yet. You um, have not. So we can get a great many of things. Um, however, there's nothing that I can really get that's stronger than anything else that I have. So we'll just do that. I currently have a Call of Atlantean, so I can summon an additional three monsters. Oop, I accidentally hit set on this card instead of this one. So that's fine. Fun. And yeah, that, that's that. So I saw my hand and I realized it was a good one. Mm, you don't say. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> we'll just use the Abyss Megalos here. Let's, let's finish off with Mermails. Uh, do you think they need support, Xylo? Mermails, maybe. Atlanteans, no. <laughs> I love how just like the Mermails, Deep Sea, and... Um, Atlanteans, they kind of work together too. That's my favorite part about the sea serpent archetypes. They're they're nice. <laughs> I don't think they need more support. I mean, look, not, these aren't meta by any means right now. Maybe giving them the right support will boost them to where they need to be and let them, you know, because I say I think if you bring Mermail up, it'll bring all the others up with it and put them in a ferocious territory. However, that's the question: What's their goal? To make bad cards usable? or to make decent cards um, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best. I feel like the uh, the main thing they'd want to do is make bad cards usable, um, but it really depends on what their goal is. Either way, uh, Mermails can be played, um, even if it's mixed with a bunch of uh, Atlanteans. Still, like, I just killed you with, you know, 10,000 attack damage of Abyss Megalo, so. That worked out just fine, not to mention clearing your field in the process of everything on it before even making an attack. Yeah. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I sure did. I don't know about Mario, but I sure did. If you have, leave a like on this video. I was reminded of the terror. Uh -huh. The terror. Let me know if you want to see me uh, make a, uh, a fiercer <laughs> version of this deck. What do I even choose to fight against that? And uh, we'll see if we can make that happen. Subscribe so you don't miss anything else. And we'll see you next time. See ya, folks. <laughs>